Hi there, this is Rafael Hernandez. I'm the creator of Music Ed Fingerings, and I'm going to show you how to create vertical fingerings in Finale. Um, here we're going to use the Music Ed Clarinet font. So in Finale, we'll need to use the custom line tool to create the vertical fingering. The custom line tool is located in the Smart Shape palette. If you don't know where the Smart Shape palette is, you can find it by going to Window and then making sure Smart Shape Palette is checked. In my configuration of Finale, the Smart Shape Palette is docked to the right vertically, this bar here. And the icon that we're looking for on the Smart Shape Palette is the question mark with a line under it. This is the custom line tool. To create a custom line on PC, you're going to hold Control on your keyboard and left click the icon. On Mac, you're going to hold Option and left click the icon. Now to create a smart line or a custom line, you'll choose create from the side and then you're taken to the smart line designer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create text that will angle with the um, position of the line. And to do this we'll need to go down to the text portion of the smart line designer and next to center full we'll choose edit. In this text box, you'll type in the letter combination that will give you your fingering. Uh, so you'll first load up the font that you're using. Here I'm using Music Ed Clarinet, so I'll choose Text, Font, Music Ed Clarinet. And if you're using Mac, this will be located um, at the top of your interface. And the size that I'll choose is size 24. I find that that's a pretty attractive size for these fingerings and I'll choose OK. Now with Music Ed Clarinet loaded and you'll see down at the bottom it says font Music Ed Clarinet 24 plane you can type the fingering combination that you need etc. Now I've already got a fingering loaded in my clipboard and so through the magic of technology I'll press control V or that's command V if you're working on Mac and voila I've got my fingering loaded in for this high D I'll choose OK, and now you see a preview of the fingering in the right side of the Smart Line Designer. Now you're probably asking yourself why is he letting this horizontal line be in place. We're actually going to use this horizontal line to orient the fingering in Finale, and then later we're going to get rid of it. The next thing we'll do is we'll position the fingering so that the body of the fingering straddles this horizontal line. We'll do that by choosing Position, which is next to Edit, We'll click the fingering, hold shift, and drag down. Holding shift enables us to drag only in one direction, the initial direction that we drag. So since I was dragging up and down, I can only drag up and down, and I won't have to um, worry about dragging left or right. Now I'll choose OK. And now I'll choose OK again. And select. By choosing select at this point, you'll load your option into the custom line tool. That is, whatever you select here is what you'll be using when you choose the custom line tool. So I choose select. Now I see my D in trouble staff and I'll make sure my mouse cursor is pointed down so that it properly assigns the marking to the staff. Give myself lots of room because I'm going to now draw the marking and the line that I draw will have to be the height of the marking. So watch. Double click hold shift and drag down and then once the line is long enough to encompass the entire marking the marking appears so now we'll take the fingering and use this rectangle in the middle to drag it up and now you see the reason we left this line here is because it, it helps to give us a good um, orientation guide with the note that we are placing the marking on the last thing we'll do is we'll go back to the custom line tool by control clicking it or option clicking it, editing the fingering we just created, and now at the top um, left you'll see an option thickness. We'll type in a thickness of zero. And what this does is creates a line thickness that has no thickness at all. It's essentially a workaround to the lack of having an option that just says I don't want a line. Choose OK. You can choose select or cancel. And once you redraw the screen, voila, you've got an instant clarinet fingering vertically above your note.